How's it going everyone? What's up? This is Victoria too. I know, really? Crazy, right? So, this is not the multiplayer game. I am playing this country, Prussia, not Netherlands. This is back to the tutorial series. Um, it's been a while since I've uploaded this. I know, I apologize. Uh, been working hard on school and other stuff, plus trying to give you a video a day. I was letting the multiplayer videos kind of fill that gap. But anyway, let's get back in here. So let's look at National Focus real quick. I have clergyman set, huh? It's been a little bit since I've been here. I tried to kind of look before I started the video, but I'm just going to scroll down here. What's my national clergyman right now? 1.7? We'll keep that going for now. Um, we are just fine over Denmark. I'll get the game going at least, just to say it's doing something. And our budget tanks and back up. All right. And Denmark to our sphere is apparently the justification I declared. That's fine. I thought maybe I did something else, but I probably figured adding them to the sphere is less infamy. Let's see. And I was looking at going to war with Siam at some point in time. But for now, I think Ase looks like a really good job. Or a really good country to go to war with. My mouse is not functioning very well. Okay. So let's see. I cannot justify war against them yet. We gotta wait for this to be over. But Denmark, if I'm right, which usually am, will not take very many of our resources. We have all of our spherelings, and Denmark is. My mouse will let me click on them right here. They have no allies. Well, they do, I guess. Hanover and Holstein, which are my spherelings. So I win. Let's see. We're gonna actually. Stop focusing on clergymen for a little bit. We're at 1.7 ish percent. I actually want to boost my economy a little bit. So, we're going to go up to production up here. Open our factories. Okay, these factories, this place could definitely use some craftsmen. My mouse is not wanting to click today. Let's put some craftsmen there, and we'll get rid of. Clergyman in Westphalen. Okay. Where's some other good factories? And I want to go through here and take off the factories that are doing really well. Like this one doesn't need subsidized anymore. This one definitely does not need subsidized anymore. And this one is full, which is good and does not need subsidized. This one probably doesn't need subsidized. We're gonna look at some of these and just auto invest as much money as possible into all the projects. By the way, to do this, it's shift left click. Learned a lot of things playing in that multiplayer series. You guys have no idea. And just yeah, get all the factories building. And actually, we're gonna take this opportunity to go over to some of the secondary powers and build some factories in their more populated provinces. Actually, first we're gonna go to war with Denmark. Declare war, please. Call allies. Why not? Is Great Britain good? Likely. You know, we're not even gonna. Call. Eh, we'll call our allies. All right, everybody's joining. Yes, yes, yes. We will let our little spherelings jump in. And halt, of course you can have access. I think it's just automatically if spherelings access. They did join the war, okay. So we're just going to take these 24,000 troops and start moving them up here. If we can get them up there fast enough. If not, we will take these 15,000 and move them in as well. But it looks like we do not need... Actually, no, these 15,000, you guys you can stay. No, nope, just stare at that. That's fine. Good. We'll just take these guys and march them up here. Just to say we helped in the war, at least. And actually, I don't want to show influence view because that's taking too much time. And province construction. I don't even remember where that's at. Factory? No, that's good. Whatever, it's fine. Just because I don't necessarily care about railroads. Like, I care about railroads. Don't get me wrong. I just don't care... Like, if they're being constructed, that's great. Construct them. 
Flu pandemic. Yes, we will give 3,000 and make our population growth. Basically, it just shortens the time. Yeah, we'll shorten the time. I like positive population growth. Although with these wars, that's not going to happen. Actually, let's just go siege the capital right away. And add to sphere cause this belly doesn't take nearly as long. Look at this stack of ships, man. I wish I could see what that composition was, but that's just crazy. So sorry, Denmark. The Danish were just a uh, unfortunate. Like it's just unfortunate you had some of my land. France, do you still hate me? Yes, you do. Why? Um, okay, we're gonna pause it real quick here. Hanover Alliance. Yes, let's look at text. Now that I've had some time to kind of sit back and think about what I really want here. Diplomatic influence is not that big of a deal anymore. But what is a big deal, especially for reaching Africa, is naval bases. There we go. Gonna get some navy bases. That might not be a huge deal right now. I want to get at least naval bases level 2. And then I will worry about army tech. Because I am going to want a lot of army tech. Because I'm going to be fighting Russia and France and Austria a lot. Hopefully with Great Britain's help, obviously. What did I Did I keep my second? Okay. I am still getting clergymen, technically. Awesome. So let's go down here. Let's look. Clergyman, yes, you need to move. So I'll go here. Westphalen, clergyman, out of Magdeburg. Thank you. Westphalen, good. How's Brandenburg doing now with their factories? Once they all hit about 8,000, I'll start. I'll stop promoting craftsmen. Because then I'd want clerks to fill in anyway. Alright, prophylaxis, prophylaxis against malaria. That will just help me colonize. It's awesome. Okay. Alright, so what am I waiting on for North German Federation? I have to be at peace. That is it. Great Britain, please let me in, get out of this war. I will just... Um, Oh man, I demanded that Brazil becomes part of my sphere. Man, I, I did a lot of shit in this Let's Play so far. So, that's cool. Yeah, Brazil, become part of my sphere. Waiting just a little bit, I guess. Like, normally I would just peace out of the war and just take my sphere lane, but then Great Britain wouldn't like me because a separate peace. And Great Britain is my best friend right now, basically, is long, long story short of it. Let's see, U.S., how do you feel about me? 35. I'm going to increase relations with you just in case things with Great Britain don't work out. Not that I think you'll be able to be particularly useful against France and Russia, but I think you'll be a distraction, and that's important to me. Alright, let's look at our budget. I haven't even looked at that yet. Okay, so tariffs are 5%. That's acceptable. Let's raise education just a tad. Must be kind of during boom times. Okay, right there. Army, we can drop the spending here. Navy, same thing. Why is education minimum? Go max. Administration, go max. Just for now. Oh yeah, I didn't even look at taxes. That's fine. In fact, let's just kind of do that. Save a couple bucks on the rich. Give them more money to build things in my country. Alright, so is this war Great Britain? You are fighting a South American country. What is your issue? Who is this? Is it me? Oh, oh shit, I have troops there. I had no idea. The more you know, right? I mean, I guess it makes sense if I wanted to add them to my sphere, I would have done that. So, just keep trucking along here. We are in fourth place. That's meh. How close are we to third? 
Oh, we are right behind the United States, just a few points. In fact, getting these factories working will help out a lot. And forming the North German Federation, that'll probably bump us above the United States. Because if I remember right, there's quite a bit of prestige in forming that. There is almost 17. Okay, so lose less population, no militancy, and only three grand. Three grand to chump change, ladies and gents. More projects? Yeah, you need investing? Yeah, you do. There you go. Need more investing? I got you. I got you. Boom. Oh, more investing. God, I love this. I feel like Santa Claus every time they ask for money. Alright, so we got Chile out of the war. So that's just all of us versus Brazil. So was this me? Did I did I declare this war? I'll have to go back and watch my own videos. I guess it makes sense. No, no, because the United Kingdom has the first war goal. Maybe I did. It is Brazil. No, it was probably me because it's Brazilian submission. Oh, guys, I'm losing it. Hey, there's the Dutch land. Looking through all these islands now. This game looks so much different so long ago without like 20 players marring the world. The AI kind of doing what the AI does. In fact, I'm hoping this time we see a weak United States. Actually, no. No, because I want the United States to move out. I hope we see a really strong United States with a strong grasp on South America. Except for Brazil, of course. Brazil's mine. And I kind of want Mexico in my sphere, but I don't want to mess with the U.S. Maybe I'll let the United States take everything from Mexico and then put them in my sphere. Because the AI doesn't usually go crazy about, like, con conquesting Mexico. I just really want the Panama Canal. I feel if I own both canals... I will be a lot stronger because I can go anywhere I want quicker. Like instead of going all the way around Africa, I can just go straight through the Arabian Peninsula. Not the Arabian Peninsula, that was my bad. But straight through the area of Arabia, like between Egypt and between Africa and the Middle East. There you go. Words, 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 words. They're hard for me today. Okay, so Brazil should be given up any time. Come on, UK. I really want to get my people out of here. I have these 10 transports just, like, itching to get back home. And I'm going to... fight Oman to get some land in Africa so I can colonize. Because basically what I'm going to do... I'm going to go over here. And this is the easy way to get into Africa. Go to Oman. Take Omani Zanzibar from this little thing right here. And then this one if you're feeling crazy. And then you can just start colonizing cr like crazy right here. And colonizing Africa, fastest way to get a ton of prestige. Like, a ton of prestige. We're going to up the game speed a little bit because there's nothing going on except for this war. I mean, there probably is. Is there anything going on in the world? Uh, no. No, this war is literally the only thing going on in the world. We just have to wait... Sphere Brazil, form North German Federation, and conquer the world. Actually, no, we won't be able to conquer the world. There are people that say they've conquered the world in this game. I am unsure of that. I don't see how it's possible. Unless you're playing with other players, of course. Alright, those little rifles. I could use some engineers. Pop-ups, man. Of course, playing in the United States is worst for pop-ups. We were playing just a for fun game. We actually live streamed it over on Twitch TV, Project Cerebral. We actually live streamed a uh, um, what's it called? Uh, just for fun, Victoria, me and Corey did. I played the United States and just started conquering people, but then the pop-ups was awful. All right, Jewish thing in Germany already. A Prussian law of October 1845. Literally early for that. Ordered Jews to take fixed family names. They were now also obliged to serve in the military. All our citizens shall have equal duties. So they gain one consciousness, but I gain five prestige. I gain prestige, man. That's what's important to me. I'm a prestige monger in this game. Just 
walk through these 3,000 Brazilian troops. Egypt. I was fearing Egypt too. Where is Egypt? Egypt along with everyone else. No wonder why it's taking so long. Although I think I was doing everybody else for the simple fact that I wanted to... Okay. So Brazil is now my spheroline. And we'll pause real quick. Because if I am right... Yep, North German Federation. Or is it North German Confederation? Okay, so... While Germany was not united until the proclamation of the German Empire following the Franco-Prussian War, rising nationalism in the 19th century had meant that unification had been on the cards long before that, with the Frankfurt Assembly of 1848 being an important forerunner. By achieving a dominant position among the North German states, we can now form the North German Federation. You ready, guys? Here, I'll, I'll make it glorious. Move over to our land here, this, this blob of colors. Go here. And boom, no more blob of colors. One solid color. We still have to deal with these. But that's Germany, right? Right there? Okay. So we got the North German Federation. Now, what did that do for us? That did a lot for us. We gained a lot more population. Which means we are going to want to open all factories. Subsidize all factories. Now, normally I would never subsidize all factories, but the reason why I did that is because I opened all factories. Now I can look through, see which ones need subsidized, subsidize them, which ones don't need subsidized, don't subsidize them. This also gave us a huge, huge troop base. So, let's kind of look at what we got here. We got these 24,000. That's a terrible composition. There's no artillery in there. Do we, we do have siege efficiency, which is good. We have the one engineer. Uh, this one, this one... So we need artillery mainly. Okay, let's combine all these troops together. The rest of this episode will be a military building video. And actually, we're going to monitor our troops over here. They are moving, are they not? Yes, they are. Okay. This is just to kind of see what we need. Okay, so we got this. This is all infantry. So... The ideal ratio I was given, and this isn't 100% ideal, this is just kind of mine. I'm going to delete these troops because I have no access, so it's just easier for me to just go boop. Alright, manpower is reserved, return to the pool. Now, this is kind of my ideal ratio, the one I've been given. I modified just a slight bit, so we're going to do 4 infantry, 4 cavalry, 2 artillery, and 1 engineer. That's going to be kind of my ideal. So four, four, two, one. So this one can lose some infantry. All right, lost infantry, that's fine. But now we need to make four cavalry, at least. And I'm gonna do these each, each on their own. Now, depending on which ones you use, it's kind of up to you. I personally, like the Kusars are the strongest, but they have no maneuver. Or reconnaissance, I guess is what it's called in this game. So, I'm going to use Dragoons. They have a little bit less attack, little the same defense, same discipline, a little bit, or more maneuver, actually, and the same speed. They use a little bit more supplies. They're just a better unit overall. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Okay. So where's our rally point set here in Germany? None. I don't have one. Merry Christmas. Schleswig, you are going to be the new rally point. Schleswig? I don't know how to say that. It's German. You'd think I would because I am German, but huh, they don't teach you that when you're born unless you live in Germany. Okay, so we skyrocketed in score now. We are now second because look at that score. We're actually catching on the UK. In fact, we'll catch up to the UK shortly. It's not going to take that long. Egypt. Increase opinion. Alright. So we're working on Egypt now. Zoological Garden. So Berlin saw the opening of Germany's first zoological garden in August 1844. Once again, wrong date. Not even close. Other such gardens already existed in London and Antwerp. So just more prestige. Just, you know, being that guy. 
And actually, with this kind of population, we can actually have 12 national focuses, technically. There's no tech that gives you that. So I'm actually going to work on a few of those, so I can have more. Plus, I want nationalism and imperialism, for reasons that you guys will find out when I get it. <laughs> okay. So, you guys are all about it, the ideal craftsman. You're a little over, that's fine. But we still are going to need it for this factory, but you know what, we're going to encourage clerks. Clerks. Right there. Encourage clerks, that's great. Just waiting on this military to build. In fact, we're going to go start fabricating the war against Ase. Or Atesh, or however you say it. People are going to say it differently everywhere. So we're going to start fabricating a claim over here. Justify war. Establish protectorate. Ten infamy. Can we handle it? Technically, we cannot handle ten. I do have faith we will not get ten. If I am wrong, <laughs> that is sad. Actually, no. No, no, no. We're not going to... Fuck, we already got caught. Might as well do it. I didn't... I just realized I wanted Oman more. But that's fine. Okay, so these are the four dragoons. Let's get them over here. Check our ratio again. And if your land can't support this kind of supply line, okay, so one more artillery. Actually, that's perfect. Thirty thousand troops. Nice number. If your land for some reason cannot support thirty thousand troops, which I don't know why it wouldn't be able to, feel free to modify this ratio a little bit. It's just you want the artillery to cover the infantry, the cavalry to be able to flank. And the engineers for siege efficiency, basically. You want your stack size to have 100% of siege efficiency, 100% reconnaissance. Sweden wants an alliance? Yeah, Sweden, welcome to the ally. Being, a, being an ally. Um, so yeah, you want, you want those to be both at 100%. And I believe you can do it, technically, with only a couple cavalry. Like, you don't need all the cavalry. I personally prefer all the cavalry because they do flank which is nice and you want them anyway whether you need them or not for um, reconnaissance you want them for the flanking so we'll establish protector down here will a UK join maybe maybe oh, I don't need them anyway I was just gonna call them in you know be like friend friend time actually can I just haul these guys too because if I can, I'm not going to leave yet. Oh, I guess I'm leaving. I forget. I'm fighting on civs. I don't probably need all of my troops. And no, I couldn't carry that many anyway. Okay, but we're not going to assault them. This is, see, like, this is a very bad composition. All cavalry. So yeah, I can flank them all day long. Not going to do much good. We're going to just see. I'm curious how we, how much weaker uncivs are in this game. Like, uncivs in Vic, or in uh, EU are just pathetic like yeah they're pretty bad in this game too let's drop off these troops as soon as we do that we'll start blanket sieging so select you're already there select go there actually you will just go right there did we crush them yes we crushed them so now we just have to siege with no engineers, this is going to take a while, and no infantry. So we're just kind of going to siege this down, see what happens. So yeah, what do you guys want to see me do next? Obviously, forming Super Germany is going to be a thing. That's going to happen. But I've been trying to kind of challenge myself, and forming Super Germany has never been hard for me, because ever since I figured out how to do it, you know, once you know how to do it, it's not that tough. But I do know a lot of people want to see it. Um... So just let me know what you guys want to see. In Austria, I swear to God, I will destroy you. Uh, apparently, I do not have a alliance with the United Kingdom anymore. Lose prestige? No. No, 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 no. But now we have the Ottomans as an ally. Now, the Ottomans are not that strong anymore. It's part of life. What the Ottomans do have is there south of Austria, which means when we declare war on Austria, Ottomans will be invading here, me and the Uk will be invading here. In fact, the Uk might even invade from down here, but that's much less likely. Alright, so we have a national focus to worry about. How do we want to do this? So let's go to factories again. 
any places that are oh yeah i was gonna go through here anyway that i'm gonna keep subsidized you don't need subsidized you don't need subsidized nope nope okay you guys are good i will keep you keep you you i feel like if you had craftsmen i wouldn't need to subsidize you i'm going to for now no i usually don't do it if it's over three so you know you're yes 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 no no okay so pretty much done with that foreign investment i did say i was going to do some foreign investing so are the ottomans a great power anymore please please work thank you uh yes they are so i cannot invest there where i can invest is netherlands say and that's if actually my government might not allow me to yes it will okay build factories so, Netherlands, do you have any provinces that are particularly high on craftsmen? No, you don't. But in Holland, now, normally, they're not going to really have people to support this factory, but I'm going to try. Because in Holland, I would love if you produced... Hmm, what do I want you to produce? I would really like more artillery factories, because it is early enough in the game that they are useful, and hopefully Netherlands will do me a solid and fill the factory okay let's zoom in here all right this is done let's go down to our war down here this is where Victoria can kind of get crazy when you're trying to zoom all over the world to do a million different things at once we're gonna move in here end this war right now kill all their troops siege all their lands so they can't build any more troops Let's zoom back up here, see if that army's met yet. Yes, it has. Netherlands, or er, Denmark is no longer in my sphere, which sucks, but I did get what I needed from them. But it does definitely suck. Um, Alright, that's fine. So you are just two, cat, or you're two infantry. So we'll break off two infantry here. Okay, move you down here and we'll go in here and we want what do we want can I hear you guys okay, we want two artillery yes one guard yes four dragoons there we go now they will all actually you know what I will have you guys meet just right here instead of Clyle there you go and actually pretty soon I'll be able to build the Clyle Canal because I own the land right here yeah Basically, it just allows me to cut a thing here so I don't have to go around Denmark. Little thing, so no big deal. Alright, how's this war going? Good. In fact, shortly it will be over. But yeah, this was, this was a pretty laid-back episode, but a lot happened. And actually, a Prussian astronomer, James Gottfried Galle, discovered Gall. It's Gaul, not Galilee. What am I doing? Discovered the planet Neptune. Until 1930, this would be the last planet to be discovered in our solar system. And then there were eight. We gained 5.5 prestige. No big. We just have scientists in our country. You know, you know how we do in Germany. We're going to march all these troops across the Straits of Malacca. And then, as soon as we're done sieging this province, I think I'm going to end the episode here. So, like I said, not a much, not any major things, like no major wars happened, but a lot did happen for our country. We formed the North German Federation, we conquered Otse, we added Brazil to our sphere. See, look at that, look at that, all ours. So, next time, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start prepping for the war right here in Austria. Anyway, that's that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I I appreciate the immense support you show the channel. Like I see the views and I see the comments and the likes and I, I really appreciate it. Thank you for everything. I hope you keep enjoying just as much as I enjoy recording for you. But anyway, this is TJ. I've had a good recording session. I hope you enjoy watching. I will catch you guys later for the next episode.